everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and our continuing series on the Mr. FPJ DE10 Nano Project. And we're doing another Saturn video, and that's because you guys requested it. I didn't have one planned for at least a few more weeks, but I kept getting a lot of comments both on my Discord as well as in the comments themselves asking if X game worked. It seems like everyone's curious what popular games are working and what popular games aren't, so I took the top of vote getters of what you guys wanted to see, and I decided to test them all for you right here. Before you get to friend Val though, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, subscribe, that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down below as well. But right off the top, one of the biggest questions I got as to whether or not it was working on Mr. So Far was Daytona USA, because it's synonymous with the Sega Saturn, even if it's not the best port around. And you will see it is running. There are some polygon breakup issues only when you're not in control of the vehicle. It's actually really interesting. When you get control of the car, they go away completely. So I'm not sure if that's some sort of issue with the input signals, but you can play Daytona for the most part. And it does feel exactly like a Sega Saturn when it is running correctly. You'll see here I'm in position 35th off the first lap. But if you go a little further in, I'm on the sixth lap and I'm in 14th place. I think I was going to be able to win this race even on FPGA that's not complete, but every once in a while, well just like that, you're going to see the game will just freeze on you. So something like Daytona USA is working, you can check it out and you can do bug reporting on it, but you are going to see that there is some intermittent freezing now and again. But another game that everyone wanted to know whether or not it was currently running was The House of the Dead, and that is because it's Sega's best light gun game of all time. Again, the Model 2 version, better than Saturn, but Saturn is amazing and it's how I first started playing the game and I will say that there is no sound implemented to the House of the Dead yet that hardware must not be strung together in FPGA but the actual gameplay here feels one-to-one -one perfect to my memories the controls are nice the graphics look like they should I don't see any polygonal breakup issues whatsoever and I got to about the second level in this before I just moved on with my capture so it's possible that you could complete this I haven't heard of anybody doing it yet but I will say this is really promising because while it's graphically inferior to the Model 2 version. It is an intense game for the Saturn to run, and the fact that SRG320 has this core to the point where you can play some House of the Dead and have it be pretty close to a true experience with this console hardware is very impressive. Now, apparently some people hadn't watched my first video on Saturn, but Nights into Dreams was another big request to say, hey, is it playing on Saturn? Because it's also one of Saturn's most well-known games, and the audio is hit or miss, and that's kind of the same thing across the entire core. But again, just like the House of the Dead, it feels like how it should be. Everything is playing well, the controls are good, I am using digital here, but it is just Nights into Dreams except on the Sega Saturn. If you've never played this game before and you're testing the core out, definitely give it a go because a lot of people asked about this one. Now one that I was surprised people asked about, maybe that's just because they want to see Sonic in 3D, is Sonic Jam, but specifically the 3D overworld section because we never got a 3D Sonic game on the Saturn truly we had to wait for dreamcast for that so people that's just been curious and it is mostly running well but you're gonna see here once I touch this sign suddenly the grass texture pops into those polygons and when I walk away from it, it goes away so it is functioning but something in VDP 1 and VDP 2 just may not be strung together in the code yet or it may just have an issue with this one particular game but you can 100% run around with Sonic and 3d and have a decent time doing it but the one game that I was so happy to hear people ask, does it work, because it's my favorite Saturn game of all time, is Saturn Bomberman. It's not just my favorite Saturn game of all time, it is my favorite Bomberman game of all time. This is a 10 out of 10 absolute classic. You have to play this if you've never played it before. And this, I was shocked feels basically perfect. Now there is audio breakup and there is some buzzing and I will let you listen to the sound in just a moment, but honestly, this right here just feels like playing a Sega Saturn. But like I said, the audio is kind of implemented, so listen for like 45 seconds and I'll be right back.
So you'll hear that it sounds basically like Saturn Bomber Man should, it just seems like there's some clipping on the audio channels, that's just because this core is nowhere near done, but the fact that it plays Saturn Bomber Man as well is amazing. Now, big props to the people who actually asked if Power Slave or Exhumed was working, because this is one of the best first person shooters on the Sega Saturn, and it's one that I don't hear that many people talk about, but this is from Lobotomy Software, and they had a handle on the Sega Saturn hardware that probably rivaled Sega in their ability to code for it. And what is working here so far is working really well. It feels fluid, it feels like it's running at the correct frame rate, the sense of inertia on your player character is moving really well. So at least for this first stage, things seem to be working relatively well. But what we're going to find is this has one of the same issues that Daytona USA did. And in just a few moments, you're going to see the game just entirely freezing. But up until the point that it does hang, everything feels great. And it's so promising because this is not a cheap game if you buy a physical copy. So having it on Mister will be awesome. But right there, you'll see there was supposed to be a cutscene or some speech that played. And we just hung entirely on there. Now, if you want a game that just seems to be perfect, something that you can really sink your teeth into and play, especially if you never have before, is Darius Gaiden. I have this both as a Japanese and North American copy for my Saturn on my shelves, and this is one of the first games that was shown off when they were talking about the Saturn core, and this just feels exactly like it should. Now, the sound is going to be wonky still in this because it's not done. These are in no way, shape, or form strikes against the core. This is just preliminary work. But honestly, if you didn't have audio and you just showed this to me, I don't know that I would really be able to tell whether or not it was running on a Sega Saturn or on Mr. FPGA. And it's interesting, Saturn Bomberman worked extremely well, Darius Gaiden works extremely well, so it seems like the 2D stuff is really coming along in some games. And of course, all the new revisions to this, when they come out, I will do previews on. But right now, if you're testing the Sega Saturn core and you want a game that actually just feels like playing a regular Sega Saturn game, you could do a lot worse than Darius Gaiden. And honestly, if you've never played this game before, it's one of my favorites in this series, probably only second to G Darius or Darius. People pronounce it differently. You leave me a comment down below and tell me what pronunciation you like. But the fish segments and blows up and all these effects look like they should. And that's the impressive part. Even this water right here, this transition looks and feels like you're actually just playing real hardware and that's amazing considering this core isn't even done yet. But speaking of 2D things, another one that everyone asked is it running was Astal or Astal, I'm not sure again, the pronunciation it is not my strong suit. Leave me a comment down below and tell me what I screwed up because you guys always know the pronunciation better than I do. I don't mean that in a mean way, just a fun way. But this is working relatively well, but there are some glitches on this in 2D that I don't see in stuff like Saturn Bomber Man or something like Darius Gaiden. And you'll see in just a moment, sometimes some of the layers just end up disappearing. And again, I'm sure that's just an issue with VD p1 and vdp2 and how the sega saturn architecture and hardware handles all of these different 2d layers because you'll see here in just a moment as i walk forward suddenly one of the layers just goes missing i still have control of the character you can see where those sun rays there the game is still executing it is not frozen and if we get to a certain point in time and move a certain way suddenly that layer will come back so it's definitely not something you're going to be able to play from start to finish but it is something that people really ask for and it is one of those deep cut hidden gems on the sega saturn and hopefully sometime soon we'll be playing it one to one perfect with the console now another game that people really asked about and again i guess you just missed some of my earlier videos is duke nukem 3d this game just isn't important because it's a graphical showcase of the hardware again made by lobotomy software the same people that developed power slave but this game sometimes allows other games on the system to run that wouldn't the first try and no one's 100 percent sure what it is about duke nukem 3d that makes some games run that didn't and i hope to get an answer to that soon because it's quite an interesting little affect of the core now I will say I'm testing all of this on a single 128 megabyte RAM stick. I do have a dual RAM setup, but I know primarily most people are going to be playing with one RAM stick. So I want to show something that everybody will be able to enjoy. And you even get the adult theater there and it works perfectly fine. But it's so impressive to see stuff like this running on this court at this point in time. And I was really surprised just how much excitement there is for this work and I'm super excited for the Saturn core to continue developing because so many people didn't play Sega Saturn back in the day it definitely finished a far third in the race between Nintendo and PlayStation but I owned a Saturn as a kid I love the library and there's a ton of fun to be had now some things that I just could not get to play whatsoever Cotton Magical Night Dreams that did not work for me it's worked for other people 
And that's what you're going to find here sometimes, is some things will work for you that don't work for others, and some things won't work for you that did work for others, and we're I'm not 100% sure why something like that would happen. Something like Panzer Dragoon here, supposed to be working, mash start to get to the game, maybe my cadence was just off. But of course, you can play Die Hard Arcade. It is one of the best 3D beat em ups of all time, and it works relatively well on this core in its current build state. And there's not much better than running around Nakatomi Tower beating people up with a broom. This game has nothing to do with Die Hard the movie, but Sega had the license and they kind of made it sort of fit, but not really. But you guys asked for more Saturn content and I want to deliver it to you. If you want to see other things about the Saturn core, leave me a comment down below because I try to make sure I make the content you guys are asking for. And these games are the most commented on the channel and on my Discord asking, do they run? And I'm super excited to see when the next revision to this core drops. Of course, SRG320 has got some things going on right now, so it might be next week, it might be next month, it might be next year. But when it happens, I will make another video on it. Short of that, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.